Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. Apple iPhone 12 lineup. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. Although the release of the next iPhone is still one week away, we've started to hear early rumors about what the iPhone 12 could look like. If we're going on past trends, Apple will release a iPhone 12 series next week. Apple will release as many as four new phones in 2020, but we do expect the flagship ones to ship in September of 2020. We expect Apple to follow similar pricing for the iPhone 12, Pro, and Pro Max models that they did with the iPhone 11, Pro, and Pro Max models. It will start at $699 for the regular model, while the Pro and Pro Max models will be $999 and $1099. As you add storage, the pricing will also increase. The flag iPhone in 2020 will be the first iPhone to feature 5G connectivity. 5G will release LTE service for mobile data. We expect 5G connectivity to drive many new iPhone purchases in 2020. It's all we should see an LCP antenna design, which first made its way to the iPhone X in 2017, but hasn't fully rolled out to every iPhone model. Liquid crystal polymer, or LCP, is a desirable material for antenna technology, as it performs consistently across different temperatures and has very low loss, which makes it good for 5G technology. Multiple rumors have been claiming that Apple will not include the charger or earpods in the iPhone 12 box, which seems even more likely after the company removed the power adapter from the Apple Watch box this year. With iOS 14.2 Beta 2, which was released today for developers, the company has given us a hint that all these rumors are true. iOS has a radio frequency exposure disclaimer within the settings app, which brings some safety warnings for the user on how to use the device and its included accessories. Ming Kai Kuo first suggested that Apple will not include the earpods in the iPhone 12 box to boost AirPod sales, which was later corroborated by the trusted leaker at L0 Vitadream, who also said the wall charger will be removed from the box. The leaks, such as the iPhone SE. The recently released Apple Watch Series 6 and Apple Watch SE don't come with a charger in the box, but just with the USB cable. Apple highlighted this during its September event as a way to protect the environment, claiming that most users already have a compatible charger. iPhone 12 is expected to be announced in mid-October, but the more expensive models might arrive in stores only in November. This year's iPhones will be redesigned with flat edges, and they will all support 5G network. We've heard speculation some subtle design changes coming to the iPhone 12, as well as improvements to features like the camera. There's plenty to get excited about, and this phone is set to be the best-looking and most powerful iPhone in history. Whether you want to know the specs of the iPhone 12 or the best guesses at the iPhone 12 launch date, we've got you covered here. Read on to find out everything you need to know about the new iPhone 12. What we can say for certain is that the arrival of the iPhone 11, the iPhone 11 Pro, and the iPhone 11 Pro Max have certainly upped our expectations when it comes to what to expect from the iPhone 12 this year. It's also worth bearing in mind that Apple just pushed out a brand new iPhone SE as well. Even with a slightly dated interface, the Apple quality oozes through, and it may give us some pointers as to what to expect from the iPhone 12. Whatever Apple has in store with the iPhone 12, you'll find the best quality leaks, speculation, prices, rumored launch dates and other information in the guide that follows. Keep checking back as the iPhone 12 launch day approaches. Apple usually unveils its new iPhone in September every year, but the pandemic has thrown a spanner in the works of industries across the globe, and Apple hasn't managed to escape the fallout. The event is expected to take place on October 13, in what we imagine will be. Apple has confirmed an October release for the iPhone 12, but has yet to give us a solid date for the iPhone 12 reveal event. We're expecting to see the showcase in October, with the latest rumor putting the launch event squarely on Tuesday, October 13, with pre-orders opening on Friday, October 16. The iPhone 11 got three variants last year, but multiple sources have confirmed we'll be getting four iPhone 12 models this year, along with a slightly revised naming scheme that sees the smallest of the devices sporting the moniker iPhone 12 mini, while the iPhone 12 Max will simply be referred to as the iPhone 12. So when October 13 rolls around, expect to see the 5.4-inch iPhone 12 mini, 6.1-inch iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro, and the whopping 6.7-inch iPhone 12 Pro Max. There's speculation that the four models could get a staggered release with the 5.4-inch iPhone 12 mini and 6.1-inch iPhone 12 launching in October, and the 6.1-inch iPhone 12 Pro and 6.7-inch iPhone 12 Pro Max, following at a later date possibly in November. A fifth LTE only 21. It may well be that the iPhone XR gets the chop from Apple's official range when the iPhone 12 models finally appear. 
when it comes to the cost, the iPhone 12 range will sport a premium price tag you'd expect. The most recent reports predict that the iPhone 12 series will be $100 more expensive than the iPhone 11 to account for the cost of 5G connectivity. We've already seen some stunning renders of what the iPhone 12's new design might look like, based on all of the rumors that have appeared so far, rumors that suggest Apple is going back to a more classic iPhone look, pre-iPhone 6, and is ditching rounded corners for flat edges. Apple is sticking with a notch, which may have been shrunk ever so slightly a preview of what the iPhone 12 Pro might look like. Another addition is the new dark blue colorway, replacing the mint green of the iPhone 11. We've also heard that the iPhone 12 mini will be sporting six different colorways, while the remaining models will be available in just three. Black, white, and silver. A sticking point for Apple has been its displays, with all three of last year's iPhone 11 models sporting 60Hz panels. It looked like Apple was finally upgrading its flagship with a 120Hz display, but that particular rumor looks like it's been put to bed at last, so don't expect to see an iPhone 12 model with a 120Hz refresh rate. Apple is going to pack some upgraded components inside the iPhone 12, including its new A14 Bionic chip that is set to give the Snapdragon 875 a run for its money, although recent benchmarks suggest a less powerful version mid-range B14 chip could be coming to the iPhone 12 mini. Considering the A13 Bionic is blazing fast, we're looking forward to seeing what it says will be the display size and the additional cameras as the models scale up. We've also heard that some iPhone 12 models could be making the move to 6GB of RAM for the first time, according to analysts, which would give users better performance when working with multiple apps, large files, and advanced tech, such as augmented reality. The cheapest iPhone 12 looks set to stick with 4GB of RAM. On the camera front, it sounds like the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Max will pack two cameras, while the iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max will house four. We may also see an upgrade from the iPhone 11's 5P lens for its ultra-wide camera and 6P lens for both its telephoto and wide-angle cameras to a 7P lens module on the iPhone 12. Apple has never been all that keen to add extra camera lenses, but it's something a lot of phone buyers prioritize now, so the company looks set to up its game in that department. With the iPad Pro now featuring a lighter camera along with everything else, for better depth and augmented reality effects, it would appear the Pro models in the iPhone 12 range are going to follow suit. The fact that the camera bump looks significantly larger than the iPhone 11's also suggests some kind of hardware upgrade is on the cards. What's more, the general consensus seems to be that 2020 is going to be the year that Apple adopts 5G on its flagship iPhone range you can expect all four handsets to come 5G ready, with the cheaper handsets using sub 6Hz 5G, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max said to use Wave to take advantage of the full power and speed of the network, making it the ultimate future-proof smartphone. There has been talk that Apple will even build its own 5G antenna, rather than rely Guys, please subscribe, like the video, comment, thanks for watching see you on my next video one piece.